Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm taking a break in the middle of the work day, kind of, uh, you know, jumbling some things up in between phone calls, but I'm going to do a tour on this awesome little camper. It's the 2022 No Boundaries 19.6 or No Boundary, you know, for long, the long version of the name. But this is a great little camper and if you want things like specifications on this unit uh, like awning size and weight all that good stuff you can find that down in the description of my video along with my contact information uh if, you know for pricing or any questions you might have i am a salesperson here at rv nation in ohio and i would love the opportunity you know to earn your business at least give you a price and fight for it but again it's the 2022 no boundaries 19.6 probably wrap this thing up in about 10 15 minutes since it's not overwhelmingly a uh, large camper. But I figured, you know, we'll kind of start from the front and work our way back. But I love this camper. I think, you know, if it's a couple with the occasional sleeper, you can plop down on the couch. This is absolutely perfect. With the size, it doesn't, you know, and, uh, doesn't cut out any of the nature parks or anything like that, like some of these bigger ones do. I like this is kind of in the day mode, you know, where you get some extra seating. Since this is a Murphy bed, you get the ability to have that couch. Uh, right there and then kind of at night when you want to go into sleeper you know it's as simple as just picking up and dropping just like that with one hand and then right over here you just pull that latch put that down and then you know grab the mattress and drop it and it's just like that real nice and easy did that all with one hand while talking with a you know camera in my hand so pretty darn cool on either side, you do have some counter space, and then you also have those little nooks back there, you know, for anything that you might need. And there are, you know, electric outlets as well, and these little clicker lights can go on, you know, for reading lights. You got that nice tinted window up front that does have uh, a curtain that you can drop down, like all the windows, just like this on this side, or on this side, so you get a nice little cross breeze. On both the left and the right, you will find outlets and usbs outlet and usb along with an area for you know some hanging items that's got some pretty big depth to it you know not just up to where you know the doorway is so pretty nice you can definitely pack away a week's worth of clothes for a nice little trip no problem you also have you know some area for a little bit of decorations there right on top oh got your ac this unit you only need one it's going to be a 15k uh, definitely enough to get you chilled out of this camper, no problem. We'll swing it around here. This is going to be your kitchen area. So you get two of these uh, chairs so you can sit down, use this kind of like a little bar top, a little breakfast nook, sit down, enjoy, maybe even read a book. But one thing I do like about this floor plan, you know, is all this counter space that you get. So you have all this counter space right here. You know, even the oven top drops down to add to, you know, that. It also doubles as a splash guard. But you have your, stu your two stove top burners. Got your microwave, your central vac, uh, which right here, you know, kind of sucks the dust in and all that. You also got yourself a hood, you know, with a light and then a little fan. Help keep some of that, uh, some of the cooking smells, you know, kind of on the outside of the camper. Here up above, you got these nice struts there that'll keep this up. So it's a nice little added feature that some RVs don't have, but you get plenty of, you know, storage space there. You also have this Connex TV, which can come out and swing either way. So if you're laying in the bed, you get a nice view. Or if you're sitting down over here on this couch, you also have a nice view. So I put the table on top. It's strapped in. This thing's leaving tomorrow, so I'm not going to mess with that and show it to you. Um, but you can lift it up and drop very similar to how I did that bed over there. It's a jackknife. Uh, so you can definitely sleep, you know, one or two, depending on the size. You also get these that are, you know, portable, uh, but you can pull out those armrests and you get yourself the cup holders. Emergency exit. If you can't make the door, if something crazy is going on, you just pull those two red tabs up, push out the window and you're good to go. And then storage, you know, all the way across. And again, those do hold themselves up. Can't stress that enough. That is just a nice little added feature that you get on this. Oh, getting a phone call with me. Silence that right there. Uh, before we leave the uh, kitchen area, right here you got a couple more outlets. Bada bing, bada boom. 
storage here up underneath with these little pull-out drawers. And then under here, you get some storage. And if you look behind, uh, you know, that, you can pull it off. It's only held in by two screws. You get some access to your plumbing, you know, for any of the, uh, the maintenance items that you might need. The refrigerator on this brand I am a fan of. This is going to be the 12-volt refrigerator. What that allows you to have is a more of a residential style. You know, it's not the gas and propane where the sun beats down on the back of that slide and doesn't allow the freezer to actually freeze. You know, this is essentially the same as the refrigerator at home. It just happens to be smaller, you know, and runs off of, you know, electric or battery. But pretty cool. Allows you to get a uh, much larger refrigerator. Right inside the doorway, got yourself, you know, a little bit of mirror action. Flex on them. But you have some more areas for some hanging items. All the no boundaries do come with this little safe. So if you have a gun or some personal items like your wallets or money that you want to, you know, put in there more than welcome to lock that up and then of course you know the extra storage space you know never hurt anybody oh below the refrigerator that's going to be your fuse box uh, so if anything ever uh, busts and doesn't work you need to check that right in here into the bathroom it's not an overwhelmingly large bathroom here in this particular model but it definitely gets the job done got yourself a little sink you get some storage there up underneath with some access to the plumbing. Place to put your toothbrushes, you know, right there. And then the shower is going to be that corner, you know, radius shower. Not overwhelmingly huge. A bigger guy like myself, I wouldn't say it would be a struggle, but I'm definitely taping sponges to the walls and spinning to kind of clean off pretty well. But it does have plenty of headspace, you know, when it comes in to uh, take that into account. Sorry about that. Froze up a little bit. Um, but much like the R-Pod that I was going to say, what I like about this shower is it does come with the shower miser. So if you're not familiar with that, you got this little tiny thing you can flick up and down. And basically what it does is it blocks the access to the hose up top. And it lets that water just kind of circulate and circulate and circulate within the tank. So that way you're not wasting, you know, any of the hot water. So that's called a shower miser. Really nice thing to have, especially if you're in a situation where water is limited. This is going to be your tank controls. Um, so you can check, you know, all your uh, gray tank, fresh tanks with the click of a button, you know, and just, you know, check that out in general. You also have your water heater, water pump, and your heated holding tanks. So this is going to be more of an extended three seasons camper. And then they also got the solar panels up top. So this is going to be your solar can charger, uh, solar charge controller. So that way you know that bad boy's juicing up your battery. But that about does it for the inside portion of this tour. Um, again, it's the 2022 No Boundaries 19.6. Now I'll take you on a couple moments here on the outside. And if you guys have made it this far, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'd love to see you guys again for sure. Um, but before we do, put a little bottle opener right there because we all know campers like to drink. And then this is going to be for your awning, you know, your extend, retract, your slide room, porch light, interior light. You know, so you hit that extend button. And just like that, your awning is going to come out on power. Now I'm not going to pull that out today. Um, but you do see... You have your LED strip there underneath. Solid entry steps is a little bit of a rarity in campers this size. And your extra large grab handle. So all really nice and convenient items to have. That's going to be a spray port. So you have some access to some water out here. Dual axle camper. So if you ever pop a tire, you got three more sitting down chilling. You know, which is always nice. Around the back side, you do have a bumper with a spare tire. And when I was saying earlier, this is more of an off-road camper. I mean, check out, you know, these tires. They are big, they're knobby, you know, more built for that off-road person that is maybe, you know, going kayaking or fishing or something like that. It's also a fully walkable roof. So you do have this ladder that goes all the way up to the top. I won't be climbing up there because I'm a little bit of a, of a big boy as a ladder capacity. Ladder capacity of 250 pounds. I do not know why lately my phone has just been freezing. Uh, but right here, you also have the access for an observation camera if you'd like to install one of those, 550 bucks. Uh, but they, it does allow you to see, you know, what's going on behind you while you're driving down the road. This is going to be where your power cord plug-ins are, black tank flush, cable and satellite, all of that right there, your sewer outlet connection. This is your slide. You can put on a slide topper if you'd like this. There's plenty of room for that. 
And that's basically an awning that goes from here to here that keeps the debris, you know, off the top of your camper. Definitely one of those uh, convenient things, not a must have, but it's definitely, if you can afford it, you know, it's the way to go. City water connection, fresh water connection. And then we got some stuff in here already, but it's your pass through storage. And as you can see, all the points in this thing are nice and welded up, you know, everywhere that they connect. So it shows off that nice aluminum frame construction. But, uh, you know, we come around the front, you got your power tongue jack. We're gonna hook you up with a battery and your propane tank's gonna be full. LED strip that goes across the top. Again, the frameless tinted window <coughs> on that front area. But I think that about wraps it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. I hope you stick around for more. If you guys are in the market, make sure to hit up my text line or send me an email. My name is Hunter. This was the 2022 Nobo 19.6. Have a great day. See ya.